Hello, so in the previous video we were looking at how to do a logistic regression analysis but it was a main effects model meaning we didn't include any interactions within the model. Um, so what we're going to do in this video is include some interaction terms. Um, by that I mean we're looking for where two explanatory variables may actually um, interact with each other to affect the outcome. So the outcome is dependent not just on each um, explanatory variable on its own but also on how those two explanatory variables operate together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Analyze as before and to Regression and Binary Logistic, exactly the same as before and we're going to actually create pretty much the exact same model we did previously but this time we're going to include an interaction term. So as before we want to include the uh, 5M variable which is the whether or not the student has achieved 5 A star to C grades or more at age 16 exams. That will be our dependent variable. And we'll include ethnicity. Uh, why do I always forget my alphabet? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, ethnicity or ethnic as a covariate. Gender. Um, and this time, instead of using all of the social economic class variables, we'll use the shortened version. Um, we're doing this mainly because um, otherwise you get a huge amount of interaction terms. It's just very difficult to, to explain when you've got so many different terms within the model. So we're just um, simplifying it a little bit for the purpose of this explanation. Now, to actually enter an interaction term, we've got to use this A, B button here. Um, which actually creates all the dummy variables for you, which you'll be delighted to hear after using the multiple linear regression system where you actually have to create the dummy variables yourself. Um, for logistic regression it's a much uh, simpler, more streamlined system. Um, so the only uh, interaction term we're actually going to include in this model is um, the social economic class short variable by ethnicity. So we'll find um, SEC short again, which you can see is already included in the model but you can still highlight just by clicking on and if you hold down control when you click on ethnicity you've highlighted, you actually see that you've highlighted them both there which will allow you to create an interaction term by clicking on this button and you'll see it says SEC short by, by ethnic. Um, you can create as many interaction terms as you want and you can create them with, with more than um, two explanatory variables so you might find that you also want to include um, an interaction between social economic class, ethnicity and gender but to, in order to keep the explanation fairly simple here and also because we've done some of the theoretical groundwork to suggest that we, it's not necessary to build such a complicated model we'll just include sex short by ethnicity here before we move on and change some of the settings up here it's worth changing one small thing which is really just to make sure that our um, the model we're creating here tallies up with the one on the website. So at the moment, uh, missing cases for SEC short are, are set to zero, which means that any um, all missing cases in the data, I should say, are coded as zero. But at the moment, they're excluded from any analysis. Now, actually, it's usually quite interesting to include these missing cases as a separate dummy variable because. Uh, well, two things. A, it sort of in increases the, the size of your sample, and B, that missing group may in itself be interesting. It may in itself be different to the other groups. So we'll include them for this model. All we have to do is click on variable view here, and then go to SEC short, which is 63. And where it says missing, if we click on the little corner button there, we'll see that at the moment missing values are coded as zero. And we just want to change that to say there's no missing values. So just toggle this radio button to no missing values and click OK. Now now our um, missing cases will be included in the in the actual um, the model itself. Um, so as before, we also need to uh, tell SPSS which are the categorical variables. And as before, it's all three of our variables are actually categorical, so we just move them across here. And again, if you recall, um, we need to change uh, which uh, which of the categories SPSS actually uses as the reference category. So for ethnicity, if you remember, it's actually the first case, which is uh, zero, coded zero for white British, that we want as the, the reference category because it's the most common case. So we will need to um, click on uh, ethnicity make sure that the first button, radio button, is clicked on and then click change and you'll see the indicator, This next to the indicator this little uh, first appears in brackets 
that's the same thing we'll do for gender because we've commonly used uh, zero which is coded for males as the baseline category so we'll change that too but for SEC sure actually the the highest the last um, category is the least affluent one so that that's a good baseline category so we can actually leave that one the same okay you've got the save options as before but we won't actually change any this time um, and we sort of discussed these in the previous video so I won't go through that again and the options again the classification plot which is that sort of it's like a histogram made up of y's and n's <laughs> that's very useful we've, we've spoken about that before but we'll, we'll collect that again the Hosmer and Lemsho goodness of fit test again is a good way of checking that the uh, the data is actually a good fit for the model or rather the model is a good fit to the data is, is the more uh, chronological way of putting things and finally you can get the CI for EXPB which is actually the confidence intervals for each individual odds ratio which is again it's a good indicator of how accurately your model is actually creating these odds ratios okay so once we've told SPSS which are the categor categorical variables and uh, alter the options we can click OK to run the analysis okay so let's go through the output for our interactions logistic regression model we won't go through all the tables because we've already sort of covered a lot of this in the previous uh, set of videos where we just had a main effects model and actually most of the same principles apply for for actually interpreting the, the output um, so you've got your case process code case processing summary again your dependent variable encoding again and um, this sort of categorical categorical variables coding table which uh, will just basically tell you what labeling SPSS has applied so when you come to look at the individual coefficients for each um, explanatory variable and each um, main effect uh, you'll be able to understand what, what it's actually going on about and again block zero the beginning block is is the model without any explanatory variables included in it at all or any of the interaction terms so we can see that just by the model guessing the more uh, frequent of the two responses it's correct 53.4 percent of the time now this will be slightly different because if you recall we're now using a slightly different um, set of data because we're using the SEC short variable and we're including missing values and that type of thing so the, the, the value will be slightly different to the one that we had for the main effects model and again variables in the equation variables not in the equation we've discussed before and it's going to, none of the variables are actually included in the equation for the block zero uh, which is the sort of baseline model so it's block one again where things get more interesting um, as before you've got an omnibus test of model coefficients which um, tells you whether or not the the model with the uh, in this case with all the explanatory variables included is is better at predicting the outcome than the the model without and as you can see once again from the the model row here um, it's statistically significant 0 0.000 so far less than that sort of 0 0.05 that we're conventionally happy with um, so that's just sort of testing the hypothesis that the models are different um, you can see from the model summary uh, the summary sorry that uh, from the Nalgakirk R square that 0.129 of the variance in the uh, in, in the data set is explained by the model so again roughly 13% which uh, bearing in mind that this is a Suedo R squared so it's not going to be particularly accurate that doesn't seem too bad it seems that the model is um, adequately describing a fair amount of the variation in the data so the Hosmer and Lemshow test which we've again spoken out before tests the hypothesis that the data is in fact um, the, sorry the model is in fact a bad fit for the data so we're hoping that that isn't statistically significant and as you can see um, after the chi-square analysis is completed at 0.535 it, it's not so we can be fairly confident that the the data is a good fit for the model the model sorry is a good fit for the data and um, the contingency table here just is just part of this test so I don't tend to use it to be honest now the classification table now this is for block one so this is for the model with all our explanatory variables included and our interaction effect included and you can see now it's gone up from the 54 percent or so it was describing uh, the correctly classifying sorry to 64 percent so as you can see it's not actually although there that is a substantial increase the model still misclassifying uh, 
36% of cases so it's still not um, correctly classifying all the cases by, by any stretch of the imagination. Now when we get to the variables in the equation table we can see whether or not the interaction effect that we've included is statistically significant so whether or not that interaction effect is is making a a difference to our model whether it's Im improving um, the accuracy of the classifications made by our model. Now as before we'll get the main effects first so you get the uh, main effect for ethnicity you can see um, it uses this wall statistic to calculate whether it's statistically significant and you can see that it is less than 0 0.05 so you can say that ethnicity does have a have an impact on the model um, on the accuracy of the model and then it goes through each individual um, regression coefficient for each each dummy variable if you like for each category and you can see that there's quite a few of these actually aren't statistically significant so I think ethnic one is for uh, mixed heritage students and you can see that the difference between a mixed heritage students student and a white British student is not statistically significant but for number two which I've forgotten what uh, that represents so we go up to our categor categorical variables codings table to check and we can see that number two is an Indian student and we can see that for Indian students the there is a statistically significant difference and then we can look at the EXPP which is our odds ratio and see that um, Indian students are even within the with all the other variables in the model controlled for are twice as likely than white British students to uh, achieve 5M to achieve these five or more A star to C exam grades at age 16. So if in this example for each of these um, coefficients um, they represent the difference between that particular ethnic group and white British students but that's only for the baseline category for SEC so that's only for the, the least affluent SEC group um, which obviously means that uh, to actually work out the odds ratio for each individual um, case you'll, you'll need to add different coefficients together to do the calculation um, I mean usually you won't want to do this because the model sort of does it for you but it's, it's useful to know how these odds ratios are actually calculated and we can also see that um, social economic class is again there is a statistically significant main effect for social economic class and a statistically significant um, effect for gender although the odds ratio is included there because of course gender is uh, only has two possible categories we can see that um, females are 1.4 more times more likely than males to get um, to achieve 5M so what we're really interested in here sort of in addition to our previous model because we've already looked at main effects in the previous videos is this interaction effect between social economic class and ethnicity and you can see again in exactly the same way as the main effects have a wall statistic and a level of uh, statistical significance the exact same is true for this interaction effect and we can see that at less than 0 0.05 the interaction effect is in fact making a statistically significant contribution to our model um, now these individual coefficients you'll see that it's printed lots of them and these are for um, e each of these coefficients uh, each are interaction terms which represent how much the um, the SEC contrast for say um, the lowest and in this case the highest um, social economic class because one is the most affluent social economic class um, so he, how much um, the SEC contrasts vary for each ethnic group so within again the mixed um, uh, heritage ethnic category um, relative to the size of the social economic class effect among white British students so the, as you see these sort of odds ratios are quite difficult to interpret uh, sort of on their own but sort of as part of the wider model you can see that in fact there is um, an, uh, an interaction effect between social and economic class and ethnicity which is worth including in the model now finally you will get um, this classification plot that we requested and again you can see in the exact same way before where um, the model is, is, is most accurate you, if you like at um, predicting whether or not a student will achieve 5M. Okay so that's the, the last of our videos about logistic uh, regression analysis. Um, 
we hope they're useful and if you'd like more information or, or to go through this in, in more detail then we recommend that you check the website thanks very much